very known area is the Adams Hall, constructed in the 1950s and later converted into a psychiatric hospital. In the 1920s, this era was when the majority of patients came expecting to die. Oh no fucking way. Are you beside the boy or the girl? Whoa! <laughs> Who was that? Something darted. I'm a kid. Like you're hearing shuffling as well or like movement somewhere? Down here. <laughs> He just screamed again. Stop raining, we just heard you screaming, we're coming. Omar! Oh. Omar! 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 Where are you? Here we are, Toronto Rano. Pearson, baby. This is where it starts, Indiana State Sanatorium, guys. <laughs> this is it. Man, it's been a long plane ride so far. Like I said, we're gonna be giving you guys that good, good this trip. So, how are you feeling? Excited. I'm already scared. I read about the, uh, the underground tunnels connecting the buildings, and I'm like, I have a feeling that one of us is going to be alone in one of those tunnels at some point or another, and I don't like it. It might actually be Chels. We're going to send you in there alone. <laughs> I'm game. Honestly, do it. I'm so game. I, I probably will regret saying this, and I'll probably try to change my mind for the location. But you guys are my witnesses. I will go alone in the tunnel. Not only is Indiana State just a sanatorium, it's an anxiety hell house. <laughs> on a mission or what? <laughs> See you later, Ryan. He wants to get there first. <laughs> Maybe you'll do the alone challenge, man. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, both of you guys. <laughs> yes, Kim, we did good. <laughs> we just want to see you sweat. Yeah. Not a bad trunk either. <laughs> I'm selling this new slider. How much you want for it? I take like hundred. Uh, would you do ten? Twenty. Okay, Steel. deal. Selling this for twenty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Oh <my> God. <laughs> fancy, fancy. Look, at it. it's an armada. We are so freaking fancy. Wow. All right, guys. How is everyone feeling? Very comfortable. Yes. Luxurious. Luxurious. <laughs> How are you doing, Ryan? I'm feeling happy. Feeling happy. <laughs> the space. I know. All of our stuff. And more room to buy stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the main goal. Okay. All right, well, this marks the first step into our road trip. So here we are, Off Indiana, Indiana State. Woo! Let's do this. Guys, we're going underwater. We're about to go underground, <gasps> six feet under. Where's everyone's <laughs> scuba tank? Still on the road. Currently, okay, so I have to mention this one thing, okay? In the 1920s, Indiana State was the worst era, apparently. So this is where treatments were most ineffective. And all the patients that came during that time expected to die on arrival. So they weren't promised to make it out. Up until the 50s, it got better. But picture like all the people that died just in that decade yeah. alone, right? So like, I don't know what it is, but I'm getting a weird ass feeling about this whole entire complex. I know a little bit of something about Indiana State too that I find really compelling and the fact that you're picking up on some weird energy. Maybe you know this, maybe you don't. But Indiana State really only wanted to accept patients that they knew were gonna survive because they wanted to have a really great survival rate so that it looked like they were the best hospital around. Wow. Damn. Wow. It's that's just, interesting. What, what are you picking up? Because I know you were like, earlier you were like, that's a weird place. Honestly, I'm just very excited. Like my excitement is just taking over everything. I'm not picking up on much right now, but I haven't done too much research because I kind of want to go in a little bit more empty-minded because I want to see what we can pick up. Right. But I don't know. I want to spend time in the tunnels for sure. Assuming there would be a morgue, right? So wouldn't the tunnels maybe be where they would kind of transport bodies, do you think? It makes sense. Right? It really does they, make they sense. They wouldn't want to do it through the hall so everyone could see. Yeah. 
So. so we're gonna send your ass in there. That's <laughs> what we've all agreed on right now. So for everyone watching, Chelsea's gonna go down there by herself. America, baby! America! America. We here. We made it! So I wanna say one thing too. We have Kim's husband, Ryan, joining us today. This is Ryan. For everyone watching, yes, Kim has a husband. <laughs> <laughs> Do wear my wedding ring all the time. It's just, you know, Mamie isn't seen by everyone all the time. So there you go. We just made it to America now, and we are on route to the Airbnb. Mm -hmm. And then, what's tomorrow? Indiana State Sanatorium. Tomorrow is like Kim needs her diapers. That's what, yes. that's what Kim needs for yes. tomorrow. We'll have to make sure to stop and get some for all of us. I Especially so. Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> We will continue on and let's let's rip to Indiana State Sanatorium. I'm so pumped. All right, guys. Hope you are waking up. Today's the day. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so exciting! I actually woke up with anxiety because I had nightmares last night. Now I'm feeling better, I'm feeling lighter, I'm feeling more optimistic. And I'm so excited. I was feeling very anxious yesterday, but I don't know, I had a good sleep and um, I'm feeling really good. I'm trying not to like get too in my own head though about the size of the buildings and the fact that it's apparently supposed to thunder and lightning tonight like crazy, but. Damn, that's gonna spike so much stuff. We all agreed that Chills will at one point be by herself somewhere in the facility. This is crazy because this is Indiana State. Apparently this has been a hot spot for paranormal activity. Not only that, people have came to this spot with anxiety. People have left with anxiety. People have experienced terrifying things there. And Chelsea agreed to go by herself. So good luck, you get no lights, you get just the screen on your camera. Did you say no it. lights? No lights. If it calms you down at all, just remember that when you're looking into the camera, you got the audience with you. <laughs> Just not in the same timeline. <laughs> <laughs> so technically you are alone. There you go. Well, it is time to pack up, get our stuff ready, and get on with our adventure today. Did you find an abandoned house? I think so. Look at that. Perfectly yeah. abandoned house for you. Just for me. Yeah, I'd like right. to explore this one instead. Yeah, we'll do that one instead. We'll just stay here again. That's good. Okay, cool. sounds good. F that. We're going to Indiana State. <laughs> It's gonna work. Moment of truth. Oh no, I, it didn't I, work. I think it would work if we just manually did it. We'll just leave Ryan's bag here. <laughs> <laughs> just Put kidding. it on the roof rack. We'll jimmy up something. Oh, there you go. Just needed a little woman power. There you go. <laughs> All right, well that's it. We're on the road. Moment of freaking truth. Usa. 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 This is it, guys. My heart is beating right out of my chest right now. <sighs> this is crazy. All the stuff that's went down in this place, the history, the claims, mm -hmm. just the stories alone are like out of a book, out of a movie. It's horrific. It's sad at the same time, but also very beautiful on this property. We're going to get a lot of emotional stuff. We're gonna get a lot of activity, I feel. Yeah, it's incredible to be here, finally. How long have we waited for this moment? We've been waiting like months. Yeah. Like what, we planned this trip half a year ago? Oh my God, that's oh so creepy. God. Even with the old cars still this there. Is, this is insane, guys. I feel like I just walked into an apocalypse right now. I know. Cheers! Mm. That's the entrance to the tunnels. Oh. True. Gosh. True, true. Damn, look at these, man. Oh. There she be! Oh my god, look at that. That is nuts, man. You okay? My stomach just turned. Did it? And not like actually? my own. It was just like flip. And I no actually, way. the hairs on the back of my neck feel like they're standing up right now, too. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Energy of this place. The hairs on the back of my neck no longer feel like they did, which kind of makes me wonder if somebody was watching us from that building. 
you know it's kind of weird that you say that because I was thinking in my head, I wonder how many people are watching us from those windows. This is what they saw before they got admitted. I wonder what they were thinking. I wonder if they're like, wow, this looks beautiful. You know, or if they were scared. Well, yeah. I think for the tuberculosis side of things, they would have been really hopeful that they would be getting treatment here and come out alive, you know? It's pretty grim for the people that were going to the psychiatric ward for the senior citizen side of things. I can't believe we're here right now. I I, I, I'm so speechless. This is just crazy. What excites you the most? Honestly, I think just experiencing it. Mm -hmm. Just being able to be present in the moment and be fully here and to see if we can help any spirits. I'm really excited to put some of the things that I've been studying and learning into practice. To me, this is like a once in a lifetime experience to come to a place like this. I never would have thought I would have been coming to a place like this. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. It's really iconic and it's incredible that it's basically in a time capsule. Yeah. yeah Nothing's sitting, been done. Just like the owner said, they just walked away from the property. You yeah. know, so I think right now I'm just, I want to see that energy for myself and I want to see if it lives up to its name. Mm -hmm. Like personally, that's what I look forward to most with the paranormal is to go in with these stories, with the history and legitimately see if it lives up to its name. Personally, what do we even do? Like, where do we start? What? I, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> We have so much to cover, we have so much property, so much history, so much of everything. Thankfully we are here all night, all morning, so we have lots of time to cover everything, but... Yeah, so the one thing I do want to do before we do start though, if you find yourself coming back to our channel, hit the sub, you guys know what to do. We are feeding you guys paranormal activity and paranormal videos almost twice a week, right? So if you find yourself coming back, make sure to hit our profile, hit the sub, and check us out, join the fam. You guys know what to do, hit the sub, check out our profile. We have to protect ourselves here 100% before we go in. So we're gonna make sure we do that. Mm -hmm. We'll protect ourselves. Yeah, I think that's so, important. Yeah. All right, shall we do this? Let's do it. All right, we need fists in right here. Ready? Yeah. So we're gonna read the history. There are a few things about this place that we need to update you guys on. It is freaky, and you guys have probably heard about this place before, but for those who haven't and are peeking in for your first time here at Indiana, this is what went down. How's everyone feeling first off before we get into this? Off. So nervous. So you're saying all of us are actually off? Because I feel off, I know you're off, and Kim seems yeah. off. Yeah. Spiritually, yeah. I mean. I feel not only spiritually, but like I actually feel like I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> like, really? Yeah. Like, and that never happens. I've never. I've never seen you in a bad mood. No. So it's strange, for sure. Indiana State Sanatorium was constructed in 1908. It operated as Indiana's main tuberculosis hospital, and this ran up until 1968. It later reopened as the Lee Allen Bryant Healthcare Center by the late 1970s. It was a nursing home and private mental hospital up until 2011. Like that's fairly recent. recent. Yeah. Leaving behind hundreds of original hospital equipment pieces and even beds. By 1911, this hospital was fully operational, which included men's, children's, and women's wards an administration building, staff housing, farm and dairy, school, greenhouse, and tunnel. One very known area is the Adams Hall, constructed in the 1950s and later converted into a psychiatric hospital. We've got everything here. It was its own community, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, once you got on these grounds, there was no reason for you to leave. No. And that's what they wanted, I feel. Kind of have to think about the energy in this place and like you got to kind of take in mind like the claims people have had here right like just thinking about what could be in this spot is creepy as <laughs> for real with everything just all that mixture what are you looking at there's someone standing over there i 
Right there, right there. Is that Ryan? Ryan? I can't see with this one because it's not night vision, but. What the hell? Both of you guys saw that. <laughs> I'm so glad you saw that. <laughs> okay. The state transferred patients from other institutions, which resulted in a mixed population of mental health and elderly patients. Due to the high volume of deaths, it led to the downfall of the facility. There were over 4,000 deaths alone during its time active. In the 1920s, it was said to be the hardest years as treatments done to people were mostly ineffective. This era was when the majority of patients came expecting to die. A lot of them had to go through extreme treatments and surgeries like rib removal in hopes to clear people of the disease. By the early 2000s, patient care and upkeep costs left the hospital in a rough state, closing the facility for good in 2011. In 2002, a lady was discovered outside who had passed away from hypothermia. Within a few months after that, a man hanged himself less than a quarter mile away. In 2006, two residents wandered away, leaving one being struck by a car and the other one was discovered in a creek. Two years prior to closing, there were two murder suits of two employees. That all happened in a span of 2002 to 2011. Like that's, what, eight years? Well, no wonder it closed then. There was a lot of stuff going on, clearly. So from many other standpoints of Indiana State Sanatorium, just because they closed its doors in 2011 doesn't mean its patients are gone. Since then, many more horror stories have occurred. The question remains, just who could be haunting this old hospital? And where within the facility buildings and tunnels could you find them? There was also, um, the owner was telling us too about the story of a man who was in the psychiatric Adams Hall. He was on the fourth floor and they said that he had stolen pliers and went into his room. They think either he was cold or something and he undid the steam pipe and let into his room a bunch of steam and it ended up, like he ended up burning to death pretty much and like getting all that, like 200 degrees worth of steam all over his body. Jeez. And they said he was in there for 12 hours before they discovered him. And when they did discover him, he was just like mush. Oh. And that's on the fourth floor in that building. But like, imagine the pain. That must have been excruciating. And no one helped him or like, you know what I mean? Or How did no one hear screams, you I know? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. This whole place seems like something out of a movie. Like legitimately, it's freaky as hell. It doesn't even and seem real. Like the stories that we've all been talking about and the buildings basically being time capsules, it's, it, d it doesn't feel real. No. Yeah. And there's just so much, so much to work with tonight. I don't think there's enough energy drinks in the world that can like get me to the level that I feel that I need to be for tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm just walking around this place earlier, drained us. I know. Like it's draining just walking in. Yeah. Very, very. It's kind of like the spirits here saw our lights and they were needing it. So they just drained us of our energy for themselves. So maybe hopefully that spiked them to hopefully give us some answers tonight or? Well, shall we start the investigation? Let's do we're it. We're here, let's do it. Whoa, okay. Wheelchairs. Whoa, the energy changed in here since we've been in here last. Hello. Ooh. Yeah, I know, right? This is crazy. We just came to communicate with you. My name is Lamar. I'm Charles. I'm Kim. I almost didn't want to give my real name. What name would you have given? <laughs> Chelsea? <laughs> <laughs> Two Chelsea's. <laughs> we know that you get a lot of visitors trying to talk to you, but we come in peace. We don't want to harm you. We actually came a really long ways just to hang out with you guys tonight. And I mean long ways as in like probably 20 hours. We live very close to the ocean. 
and we're on the East Coast. So we're Canadians, typically we're pretty happy people and we mm -hmm. say we're sorry a lot. Mm -hmm. And A. <laughs> it's like sorry, a? we don't say A as in like the alphabet, A, the letter. We finish sentences off by saying A. For example, in a sentence, I would say, Chelsea, what are you gonna wear today, A? Eh? <laughs> I'm just trying to lighten the mood, I think. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to get them to feel comfortable with our presence. Yeah, yeah I think they're really curious on, on who we are and what our intentions are. It feels dark, like it, not demonic, but just... <sighs> they're sizing us up, you know? Trying to figure out if we're good or bad. They've probably seen a lot of bad staff walk in and out of these doors. Right. And the bad other residents and stuff. So probably trying to see if we're ones that they can trust. If you're not ready to tell us your name, which is fine, why don't you make a noise in the direction you want us to go in? That's nice, we do too. That sounded like it was coming from upstairs. That was, I think that was upstairs. Over in this direction. Yeah. Yeah. Are you upstairs? Can you make another noise for us, please? So we can come to you. So I don't know if maybe we should just continue down the path of asking them to do something. Mm -hmm. Maybe we just almost like ignore them. Yeah. Talk yeah. amongst ourselves. Yeah. Let them get a vibe of us. Yeah. And then they'd probably be more receptive. I mean, even us just asking them to make a noise, they did it twice. They did it. I just wanted to see if they would, if it was like intelligent. It's okay. I'm sorry if I was a little bit more. What did I say? Play. It's a play. We can play with you later. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit overbearing for you. I don't mean to be. Failed. 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 What are you smiling at? I don't know. I'm so nervous. <laughs> what are you grilling for? <laughs> Dylan. What the name? Dylan. Dylan grilling. Dylan's grilling. Hi, D Dylan. Where are ya? She's just looking around. Whoa, this is quite the room. Yeah. So this is where it, they would take over. What's up with that voice? I know, I said the same thing. I said hell. This looks like they'd get like their allowance and stuff out of here. Uh -huh. This is personal funds. Walking. Whoa. Walk. Wind. Light? Wind. Yeah. Mind. All of the old staff, their mailboxes. Minimum wage was five eighty five in two thousand seven. In case anyone's wondering. That's really low. Yeah, that is. But I guess it's USD too, so it compares that it's it's still low. Lights. Lights? Lights? Yeah, the battery dropped at half already. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's at half. Oh my god. No, no, like I'm, I'm not playing Joseph. Okay, look at the sweat on his yeah. head. Yeah. That scared the sh out of me. It was like they saw me and when I looked, it just, like, come, come and find me. me. Come find, oh. Guys. Wow. Legitimately, someone saw me. They want you to go find them. Thank you for showing yourself Whoa. to us. 
That's really kind of you. I'm sorry for freaking out. Did I scare you? I'm on your side. Oh no my fucking God. way. <laughs> That's so fun. Who can you, are you beside the boy or the girls? We gotta check down here, yeah. Like, actually. Yeah, especially if you saw like a shadow dart, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, they went into that way, wherever that goes. Are you draining our batteries? I'm just shaking. <laughs> that was like a grandmother. Grandmother. Landowner. Landowner. Do you do you like the landowner? Whoa. Yeah. Homicide. Yeah. Whoa. Are you connected to the homicides here? Is anyone else like extremely cold? Oh, I got like severe shivers. My knees are. Republican marriage. Knocking. Republican marriage. Do you know what that is? No. no. I got that at Fairfield. That's when you tie a man and a woman together and drown them in a bathtub. <gasps> I what, wonder like if a that... murder suicide? No. No. Yeah. No. Did that happen here? Paul. Paul. I gotta check over here. This is where it ran. No way. What? This is where the tunnels are. Oh, great. Something ran into the tunnels, probably. That's why I have to be alone later. <laughs> Did you run into the tunnels? There's no way this is happening to me right now. <laughs> That's the morgue in there, isn't it? Or an operating room or something? Yeah, that was the morgue. Hello? I just heard a voice. What? I just heard a voice. I don't know what it said, but I, I picked up on a voice. Okay, that shadow was just me. If you're the little child that I saw, can you tell us where you went and why you ran away from us? Listen. Listen. Something's not right. Something's like... Suffocate. Suffocate. Well, yeah, lungs. Yeah. Republican marriage. Clear. Suffocate. Suffocate. Clear. Can you tell us which way you want us to go? Scroll. You could literally get lost down here, though. Yeah, for At real. night time. Okay, so that one would lead to... We haven't checked that one yet. Or does it go in a loop? Well, it would go to all the other buildings. So it would go to the next building, which would be what? The, the old age one? Either that. Yeah. And yeah, and then the psychiatric maybe. Mm -hmm. I feel stalkerish though. I don't want to make them feel like we're trying to stalk them. 
Need to go? Need to go. Yeah, maybe they are starting to feel like you're encroaching on their space. And number six. Maybe that's how they are. You said it was like a child? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did it seem like it might be that height? I don't know how tall a six-year-old could be. It was Chelsea's height at least. Oh, okay. But it didn't look like a female. It looked like a, like a young boy. So maybe like... If they're my height, maybe like 12? Anywhere up to 10. Basement holds darkness. Basement? Basement holds darkness. What the f Holy sh And you were saying something feels completely off down here. Can you tell us what kind of darkness it holds? Do you need help? Because we're actually making it quite bright right now. I wonder if it means like something happened here, that's why it's dark. Perfect. I, I need this. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you find another one, give it to me too. <laughs> I'm sure there's lots around here. <laughs> oh my god. Field lift. That's not even that old actually. It's here. Look at all these wheelchair wheels. That's nuts. Gruesome. Gruesome. I did ask, did something happen down here? Gruesome. He has his eye on you. <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> that's <laughs> actually, that's creepy, man. Who has their eye on us? Can you tell us the name? Evil. 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 As soon as we step through the door frame. This evil contraption in the corner seems pretty dark. It's an old x-ray machine. Bedroom. 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 Everything is just left. My name is Michael. Hi, Michael. This is crazy. And in front. In front. Bags filled with biohazard stuff. I am deaf. I am deaf. I know sign language. I can sign to you. These are like older medical reports. It's wild. It's crazy, it's all left here. Oh, yeah. Innocent. 1998, personal funds. Clock. Clock? Clock. It's funny, I heard a clock earlier. Tell me right now what one of you guys feel. We shouldn't be here. Because right now, as soon as I approach this open space, the energy is different than when we first walked in. Almost like someone was up here while we were downstairs. Kind of vibe. Yeah. It's different. I um, felt like when we got upstairs that whatever you had seen, like the child or young man or whatever, felt like, good, they're gone. I'm gonna watch back from here again. I'm so confused. I, fe I feel like if you were able to like sneak up, you might see them again. <sighs> I'm starting to shake. Whew. It's just beginning, guys. I know. We're gonna come upstairs now. Hope you don't mind. If someone's also able to tell us why they reside here. Oh, when you get up, you to go right. Oh. What'd she just say? Go you... right when you go, like, over there, turn right. Yeah. Turn right? Yeah. Oh, Nelly. Whoa. 
A breeze just hit my face. Yeah, because he's with you. He's guiding you where he wants you. Chills, on my life, a breeze just hit my face. Mm -hmm. <gasps> he just followed us up the stairs and came right near you. <sighs> Who's he? Oh. The one from the basement? Nope. No. He came from outside. Hmm. Oh, my chest is so heavy. <sighs> My everything is so heavy. I feel like my legs weigh 50 pounds, or they probably do weigh 50 pounds. <laughs> but yeah, they feel super heavy. So he wants us to go right. Did someone just walk in front of me? Or through me right now? I'm free, 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 free. I'm free? Are you able to give us a message by chance? While you reside up here? Spirit. You're in spirit. In spirit. Are you trapped here? Do you feel like you're trapped? Does this building look the same to you? as when you were living in it. I mean, I guess you're still living in it, but does it look different now versus like a little while ago? He sees it as, as he wants. Okay. And he wants to see it as? In color. Okay. Blue, green, orange. Those were the colors of the walls? I don't know, you just keep saying blue, green, orange. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All of you guys screaming, just scared the crap. I legitimately heard something like, like hit something down there though. That was good, sorry. <sighs> Troy. Troy. Yeah. My, my senses are still <laughs> there. Ben Ryan probably heard that scream all the way from the building over there, probably. <laughs> Troy, you're connected to this place. Did you have tuberculosis? No. No? Negative. 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 <laughs> Chels, okay. come on. <laughs> it's um, mental health. And he's kind of rude, dude. He says he hears voices just like me. Oh. I think he was schizophrenic. Oh. Or maybe they thought he was schizophrenic. But you're not schizophrenic. No, but I hear voices from spirits. Right? So that's what he Different hears. voices. Which is why I think that's kind of rude, because it's like, oh. So he hears voices, he says. It's a bat? Jesus, oh man. Jesus! <laughs> this place is... <gasps> Why? <laughs> I have an idea. What did that say? Agree. Agree. What if there's three sets of staircases, right? What if we're each to just sit on a staircase on each floor, or if one of us wants to stay like together, whatever it is, and see what we can hear on that floor? Why don't you guys go up a floor? I'll go down a floor. Okay. okay, okay, you'll have a friend with you anyways. What the hell? Do you hear that footstep? Over there now. Yeah, like at the top of the stairs. Is that you? It's the same guy. Please tell me you guys are feeling this breeze or this wind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that a, dr a draft? I think from over here. Okay, so that's probably what I felt coming up onto this floor then. I think the window is broken. I can't tell. I can't tell. Okay. Okay, so I guess this is what we'll do. Chelsea, you wanted to go up? Mm -hmm. you explore up there with Kim? Yeah. I'm going to try and go downstairs and... 
figure out what I saw. So you're gonna go back into the basement? Yeah, I'm gonna go back down there. But if you want me to stay still while you guys stay still and listen, so no noise is contaminated, I'll do that. No, it's okay. If you're in the basement and we're on the top floor, you should be good. Okay. Just be mindful and, and please don't go in the tunnels. Stay in like the main area. And if you wanna go in the tunnels, go for it, but just be mindful. You guys will move up, I'll move down. Sounds good. good. Happy Easter, guys. This is probably the first time and the last that I'll probably go alone here. Like I truly wanted to figure out what I saw. Somebody down there. Somebody down here? <gasps> what is that? Hello? Hello? Who's there? What the hell is that? I feel very like scattered brain in here. I don't want to talk out my feelings. Great, I'm great. Yeah, seem great. You see it in your eyes. What's going on? Guys, are you like continuously walking in a circle or something? No, but we were hearing it too. Like you're hearing shuffling as well or like movement somewhere? Like the floors creaking? I think it's at two places at once. Okay, or it's multiple. Yeah. Are you okay down there? I know you. You know us? How do you know us? Why didn't he answer? I don't know. He normally would answer. Maybe buzz him again? Are you okay? Can you hear us? I can hear you, but like you guys gotta check this out. There is movement everywhere. Are you able to move that trolley? Something is moving. Literally right there. All right, I'm creeping up here. Guys, I can't stress this enough. Someone is down here with me and I don't know who the f it is. We just walked about four steps and now we're standing still.
fuck is that? I just saw you. I just saw you. Are you playing a game with me? It's Easter eggs everywhere here. I'm being real with you, I just saw you. Shit, that's rain. Can you verify if it's raining outside? Because I, I think it's rain that could be a lot of that. We're gonna check in a window for you and let you know. Okay, that is not rain. My God, this is. <sighs> it's not raining. Yeah. He's screaming. We're coming. Hell. That's not making a noise. It's not right now. Yeah. So let's see if it's raining out. He just screamed again. Maybe we should it's go. It's not down. raining. We just heard you screaming. We're coming. The scary thing too is we're not even in the building that is known for the most activity. Yep. Hi, it's us. You okay? Who are you right now? Are you the child that's been running away from me? There's someone legitimately here with me right now. Whoever it is, is running circles around me. Like whoever's here with me is cutting circles around me. Oh, struggle. struggle. Omar? Talk to us. Ohms! Where are you? Fuck? Omar! Omar! Where? What the fuck is happening? Where that weird ass trolley is right now. There's movement in front of me. Weird ass trolley? Weird ass trolley? Where is that? In the basement of this building? Is he up one now? We can't hear you anymore. What is happening? Weird ass trolley. No, it's like the middle floor where you come into the building. We want. What do you want? Where are you? Funeral hall. Funeral hall. I'm like the middle floor in the deep hall where the trolley is. My trolley. Ohms? Oh. Oh my god. Oh my, you scared the crap out of us. There's walking, like movement. I'm sorry. No, don't need to be sorry. I think we just need to do a check-in with everyone. Like, were you guys like pacing, like like walking there fast? Are here, here, here. You no. guys were walking fast. No. 
Okay, because there was movement from like both ends of this house. It's not raining out, by the way. It's not raining? Mm -mm. Why? Why did you ask that? Because it sounded like it was raining. And I thought that could have been debunked from what I heard, but like something was actually moving. Hmm. I want to show you that footage. Like actually, it's... Can you make another noise for us? Sorry. Oh my lord. Don't trust the bad ones. Oh, why would we? This is like really... No, this is just like... Like I'm not joking when I'm f saying this right now. Like I'm actually being like real with everyone here. That was f Like I honestly felt like someone was trespassing into the building. I didn't know whether to turn the corner or not. That sounds like rain. It's not rain. Oh, it is now. The ground is not wet out there at all. No. That'd be rain hitting something, like in that far. Not the, not the ceiling stuff, it sounds like it's in. Where do those doors lead? I don't know. The nursing? We were executed. We were executed. Oh my god. Wait! It's like that! What? What's happening right now? Is your flashlight light supposed to be flashing? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. What caused that interference? There's no electricity where we are. I don't know what could cause an interference in a walkie-talkie. Is that you trying to communicate with us? I love you. Say I love you? I love you. Love someone, one of us, probably not me. I'm freaking out. Okay, so you heard the noise coming from here. Yeah. Okay, no, so. Like it sounded like someone entered the building. I'm gonna show you the clip after this. That was ridiculous. That was like the first of my whole paranormal career. Cataclysm. Bill. Hi, Bill. Bill. Hi, Bill. Bill. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. You know the, the you know the the spirit that was communicating with me earlier? Yes. Yeah. He's from there. Really? Because he kept showing me wallpaper, but it didn't cover the whole thing. And as soon as I opened up the door, there's a bunch of wallpaper that looks really like blue, green, orange. 
That's amazing that you were able to pick up on that. Female ghost. What did I say? Female what? Female ghost. What did that just say? It's music now too. Are you guys catching voices or like like both? Both, yeah. Music and voices. What's what's causing the interference? The only thing I can think of is if someone else has a walkie-talkie that's in the area on the same channel. Can't be out of all the channels. But like it's what like 10:30, 11 o'clock at night, and we're in the middle of nowhere right now. Exactly. And that happens every single time that puts in. What if the spirits are tapping into that frequency in there? Is that even possible? I don't know. That can't be even possible. If someone's on this line, can you say so? Why are they not talking now? Is someone on this line? What the f What the f That's I I don't know how to explain that. Like I honestly I don't know. Something weird is happening. Something weird is happening. All right. Um, Does anybody else feel insanely sick in their stomach? I'm starting to, not insanely, but. Is that what you're feeling right now? It's the first time I've been able to admit it without my heart racing. Is it like what, what's happening in your stomach? Like, is it turning? What are you feeling? Really, really nauseous. In danger. You're in danger. Okay, maybe, well, maybe. Why is it tripping out though now? I don't know. The three of us are together. We have the most amount of electronics. We've got two walkies in close proximity. Perhaps it's feeding off of us, and maybe that's why I'm really feeling sick right now. Do you want to take a step outside? Maybe like I I reprotect ourselves. My thoughts. Are Morris code? Kim just made a, you just made a point. We're connected to the same line. How come Kim's walkie is not going off? Oh my God, you're right. There's no way you can make this up. Like what is happening right now? The batteries are fresh in it. It's yeah. not like fizzing out or anything like that. Nine spirits. Penelope. Yeah, you're so right. Cause you're on the same channel. You would also be hearing it on yours. I'm telling you guys this right now, like something weird is going on. I am... I... I, I don't know. <sighs> this hallway is where it started happening. One of my screams was because this walkie just static out of nowhere. <sighs> okay. Um... I'm literally speechless. I, I don't even know what we should do, where we should go. Um, what are you picking up on, Oms? Okay, that's the big dream. Okay, never mind. What do you say? Maybe since we're all kind of stumped, maybe we do need to go outside. I think so. Okay, yeah. Uh, you gotta does this go outside? Is it raining? It does go outside. Did that just say back way? 
<laughs> I don't know, maybe. Animal? Listen. Don't tell me I'm the only one hearing that. What do you hear? It's banging like boom, 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 boom in that factory you know, building. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It could be water though. Mm-hmm. Like a good laugh fest or something. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm being groped. Groped? Yeah. Where? As soon as I walked like from here to here, something grabbed my chest. What? And the? then I was like, yeah. So it's really like drawing to you right now. No, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I think it's, it's it, but it likes everyone. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. It's okay if I'm gonna be. <laughs> Can't take here, here, here. Guys, I, I, I really don't know what the f heck to do right now. What to say? Like what? I've been following you. Yeah, I you have been. Telling you. I'm legitimately telling you both, someone is with us. Mm-hmm. Oh, I felt it. Yeah, I groped Kim. You can't inappropriately touch us. No, exactly. You're not allowed you're, to touch them. You're not you? allowed doing that. What I say we goes. Need we what? need We need power. So they're like... They're draining us. They're taking it from us. I feel 10 times better, honestly, yeah. just standing here and talking. I can feel like I can form words. I don't feel like I'm swallowing my saliva. My stomach's starting to feel better. That's good. That's really good. We'll take more time out here then so we can kind of like regroup, get our thoughts back. Yeah, I mean like, part one so far, this has been actually really weird, at least for me. And I, I, I don't mean to, I didn't mean to interfere with you guys upstairs. I just felt like you guys needed to experience what. And what's weird is that when you guys came down, it actually stopped. Like they didn't want to do it for you. And I'll show you the footage after of all of that. Can I make an observation? Your walkie isn't going weird. True. Mm. It stopped. Mm hmm. There's something so weird in there. And the fact that yours wasn't as well. And the fact that we all heard voices on it. Mm -hmm. And music. Honestly. What? I was behind you. That was behind me? Yeah. I heard it from over there. That was loud. That was really loud. Smoke. Smoke. The smoke, the, the, didn't they used to have a big, Oh, a big chimney that they tore down? Yeah, it was a smokestack or something. A smokestack, yeah, yeah. Coal ash stack. Yeah. And I was in that building. We just that. And then it just said smoke on Spirit Talker. What if it's saying to follow it? When you got here, it said follow me or follow it. Yeah. Why don't we wrap part one up trying to follow it? All right. That building <laughs> is not safe to go in at night, I don't think. No. This one here? Yeah, you and yeah. I went through it and it's sketchy. There's a bunch of holes on the floor and lots of equipment hanging from the ceiling. That's just the wind. The, the door! The door! Did you get that? Well, the camera was pointing this way. The door just moved. Blurry as f what the hell? Did you get that? You I you hope so. Find things below. The, the tunnels. The camera was pointing directly at it, so you'll probably have to zoom in on your editing program, but it would have captured it. The door moved. Like on that camera, you think? A hundred percent. I hope it caught it. Okay. That's just the wind. The door! The door! 
Did you get that? Well, the camera was pointing this way. The door just moved. That's just the wind. The door! The door! Did you get that? Well, the camera was pointing this way. The door just moved. That's just the wind. The door! The door! Did you get that? That's just the wind. The door! The door! Did you get that? Well, the camera was pointing this way. The door just moved. All right. You were seeing something? Yeah, so if you point the camera that way, just for the light, in there, you're gonna go right through that hallway and there should be a door on your right. And there was a shadow that kept peeking out and like going like this and calling me over. Okay. Okay, yeah, great. Maybe we can catch it on the EVP recorder. So in here, to your right. And it was that door, right there. That one? The last one. Somebody down there? You got her attention. There's like a little chair, a little bench. Could they have been sitting on the bench in front of you? Oh, maybe. Oh, what the hell? The tiny little bench. They were here. Right here. And they just kept going like this. And then, and then they disappear. And then they peek back out and call me over again. It's terrifying. Fortune. I'm here. I followed exactly what you wanted me to do. They did say follow it. Whoa, watch your step in the chest. It's all okay. nasty. This looks like a really old like, storage room or maintenance or... why they'd want me to go in there. What about this room? What is all over the floor? Yeah, there's no way in hell I'm going in that. But... <sighs> the heebie-jeebies. We can do an EVP hit down. Maybe sure. you talk because the house. The house. Mm. Oh, man. It's upstairs. God, it sounded like I'm it. very lonely here. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, here you go. Okay, EVP recording session one. Ooh. I had seen you and you were calling me over to exactly where we're standing. Are you able to tell me why you wanted me here? Ryan. I did say house before too. Ryan's technically at the house. house. Are you with Ryan right now? Here, let's check it. We will make a noise. Okay. All right, we'll listen first. We're listening. What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. It was almost like a howl. Mm -hmm. And you get a new car. <laughs> <laughs> you get a car. You get a car. Uh, All right. Let's see. Recording session one. I had seen you and you were calling me over to exactly where we're standing. Are you
you able to tell me why you wanted me here? Ryan. Did say house before too. Ryan's technically at the house. house. Are you with Ryan right now? Did you say Ryan after Kim said Ryan? What? Because after it said Ryan, uh, there's a voice behind it saying Ryan. I didn't whisper or anything, no. Sure. I don't think Play I did. Play it again. Yeah. Guess. Listen to this. It's a Brian. What? Edge. I think we need to call Ryan. Wait, wait, wait. That was our previous recording from upstairs, I think. Wait, what? What? Everything is just I'm usually not worried about him out of anybody. Let's just take a se just two seconds and just confirm I said it. It straight up says Ryan. Ryan's alone right now. If you're awake, can you tell me that you're okay? That EVP was so clear that said his name. And how does it know its name? He never stepped foot into here. Unless they Whoever's with us was with us in the other place and heard one of us say Ryan. Did I scare you? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Are you doing this on purpose to us? I don't know if my text is gonna go through. What if he's been trying to get in touch with us? What? Yeah, what? my text isn't gonna go through. There's not enough cell service. Okay, let's step outside and yeah. we'll go check on Ryan. It's... That's the fact that we heard the EVP Say his name, clear as day. The spirit talker, say his name. What? That's... Let's go check on him. Yeah. Could that be also maybe, like I'm just thinking out loud, but maybe why, oh, what's this? <laughs> he said he's dozing off. Wants to know if we're okay. I'm actually getting tripped out. I know. I'm just really confused on what's happening. Like, I feel like they're just sending us all over the place, giving us so many different signals and messages, and then we do what they want, and it's like a dead end. Yeah, they're sending us on a bit of a wild goose chase. Yeah, it's like they want us to do one thing and then it someone else tells us to do something else kind of vibe it's kind of like they're doing it on purpose to play with our minds to confuse us to get us to stop what if they're on different realms though for real like they could not be seeing each other they're just yeah. on their own realm yeah That's they could point. be all at different frequencies and yeah some are lower vibrational and some are higher, maybe. Yeah. All right, well, honestly, I think that's a wrap for part one. That was crazy shit. That was legitimately the like one of the most, for me at least, one of the most bizarre encounters I've had doing this. So this is where we end off part one. This has been crazy. We are just about to go into the psychiatric hospital where a lot of the patients were actually mixed. That was mine. That was yours? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just about to go into the psychiatric hospital where a lot of the patients were mixed up between elderly people and people with mental health for what they've said. So with everything that's went on tonight, we're gonna take a break from the tuberculosis center and come here. You have got to be kidding me right now. Hello? There's no way we, 
we change the station. Ask who it is. Who are you? What the hell? Is yours on? See if yours goes off. Yours isn't going off. No. Wait, is yours going off? Nope. It's on though. That's so strange. That's weird. I've never seen it or any walkie talkies do that ever. I don't know. I don't okay. know what that's about. <laughs> now it's yours. Did that get that? Oh yeah. And mine's not doing it now. Who is this right now? Whoever it is has to be in a close proximity. That's the scary part. We just changed it to channel four from 22. What are the odds they went and switched it to the same channel? All right, this is it. Okay, so we're moving to the psychiatric hospital here. This is the kingpin where a lot of people actually claim that the majority of things happen. And we're about to go walk in now for part two. So with everything said and done from this part, I don't know what to say guys, we're all feeling the same way. We're all feeling weird. So we're gonna take a break from the other building. Maybe we'll go back, maybe we won't, I don't know. But we're gonna start part two here and just continue on with our series. We're gonna try and do as much as we can and get to the bottom of whatever this is that haunts this facility so yeah we will hop into part two see you guys there